let's just set up these settings here first. Um, in here, if if the numbers are all uh, populating in here and you want to switch them off, I haven't switched off already. Just go into your trade and customize chart trade DOM settings, and you can flick them out here when uh, when they're in here. Just flick them out, um, and that is it. Okay, apply. Okay. Um, next, we're going to go in and just change the color in here to black. As before, we go to chart, we go to our chart graphics settings, and we want to go to our uh, DOM. Hold on, let's uh, bring this guy. So, chart DOM, we want our chart DOM. Background, chart DOM, ask background, depth quantities, uh, depth back, uh, depth quantities, uh, bid order quantity text, no, 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 DOM, profit, no, value scale, here we go, I'm gonna make this black maybe, apply, there we go, that's easier to see. So we just go in and you can change these settings as you wish. Now, without further ado, uh, we'll turn off that chart. So actually, before I go on from this we have chart, we have our trade. This shows our order fills. You can set up uh, your DOM chart trade on. Just make sure when you turn this on that you're ready to trade. Because if you, can, if you click on the chart uh, as you have your settings set up in your global and your chart, trade settings sometimes if you click double click or do certain things on the chart it can automatically enter you into position so be very careful and, and note what settings you have set up in your chart trade settings and your chart dom settings okay just go through these slowly and make sure that they are fitting you accordingly yeah so we'll turn that off for now i prefer to trade from the chart dom personally we'll be getting into the dom in the in the later modules but to turn that on turn it off that's simply where you do it okay we turn off our trading dom now and we will go into creating an independent dom so this is the last step you'll be glad to know in this module um, we will then be done bar one last thing i'll show you um, once once we're done creating the dom so to create the dom So let's get a DOM file. Open trading DOM for chart. Here we go. So <clears throat> here we have our, uh, our uh, uh, trade window. We don't need this trade window here, so we can actually um, detach it and close it. For this purpose, we, um, um, Daniele went into this already in detail, so it's basically you got to go and play around with it. Um, and we'll just close it and to bring it back, the same process attach and detach. You go through the same exact same processes with this guy. So we're going to get this trading DOM, let's just name it for the chart book first, anyways. Let's go F5, advanced settings, ESVOM. Use this, apply, and OK. For all D, if we detach it now, we can detach this guy from the, the trading, uh, yeah, from the trading window. So control all D makes it an independent DOM. And I'm just going to oh, bring this guy up again for the purposes of this. And just make it bigger. So we're going to go through again. It's totally personal preference. I don't know if you've seen some of the ones, uh, some of the other platforms. They use this um, this trading DOM, and they they like to change the colors with green and red and things like that. So we can just go through a couple of examples. Like every everything in this chart book, it's exactly the same. You just come in and you change it to uh, as you fit. Now at this stage, you've got a full kind of rundown of the bits and pieces, and it just takes a little bit of playing. But I've given you good, deep, basic understanding where to go and how to get started. So with this chart again, we just go back to chart. We want to just go to the graphic settings and start to set up for this guy. Now, me personally, I don't like these little small numbers, um, um, but we'll change them. Uh, we can change them in here with the font. The others tab again is nothing really to change in here. As it just change as you wish. Fonts. 
chart text. We could change the chart text. Just going to make these numbers a bit bigger. So let's go with this guy. Let's go to select. Let's pick a nice straight looking, uh, nice easy to read font here. Make it simple. Impact maybe fixed Franklin Gothic. Let's go with Franklin Gothic. Let's go with bold and let's go a little bit bigger. And let's go OK. Apply. Let's see how it looks. Oh, we need to go back here. We need to uncheck this box as before. Use global graphic settings instead of these. We don't want that. We want to go back to the fonts now. Now when we hit apply, it should be nice and clean. Mm, they're not great. Let me let me try a different a different uh, Franklin Gothic. We want something nice. What's the one that everyone uses? Calibri. Let's try Calibri. Let's see what that one like. Apply. That's a little bit better. Yeah, I like that one. Let's go a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go a little bit bigger with that one. Choose the font and thing that uh, and ones that you wish. But this is just to give you an example of where we're going. Ah, perfect. Okay, I like that one. Okay, Calibri. Calibri it is. And let's do the same for the numbers. Uh, the numbers we want to go to the same. Select just to make them nice and big and easy. Easy on the eyes. It's, it's easy. We want to be able to see the information nice and easy, nice and quick. You can do this for the same for the same one. Um, for the actual chart DOM itself as well. So there we go. I like that. Okay, right. So after doing that, we can just apply, hit OK, and then we go into our colors and widths. And we can just change these columns to a nice, neutral, easy to use color. And it's just a matter of going in and playing around with these background colors and change them to your personal preference as you wish. The green and the red, if you wish. And you can actually add in the DOM settings, you can add little, you can add like, um, you can add, um, what are they called? Like volume profiles and different things you can add all into the DOM here. But then that's good, just going to be your own personal preference. I like to keep it simple. Um, you will have to set up the trade window for this DOM as well, particularly when you go in to hit it, have it, your bracket orders, you have your config one saved from your previous chart, so you can go in and select that if you wish. So we'll do that. We'll go through the setup of the DOM first, and then we'll go. So these are the inventories that you set. We'll get into this in the inventory heat map study as well, but you can see what's sitting on the DOM currently. But let's get into a DOM, background color, trade DOM grid. You can see all these. So let's make this a little black. Blacker would be a nice bit of a nicer color. Black, yes, yeah, so we can see it clearer. And we just, as you can see, going through this step by step by step to create a desired DOM that you wish, um, that you wish for yourself. So um, yeah, I might just leave it there. I think that's enough. Uh, to get into at this stage for this chart book i will have it set up um with the with the the kind of um traditional um player i think jigsaw is one that uses and there's a few different platforms that you just kind of it's kind of red and bluish color so i'll do i'll set it up to that kind of red and blue color for the chart book but just to know where you go and what you do is, is enough i think at this stage i think uh, we've been running for a while now at this stage and you can come in and play with these colors as you wish